Hello Libra, welcome to your reading with me. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, it's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. Prosperity begins. Okay, I'm gonna get a couple more before I delve into this. Mm, I like, it kind of feels like a partnership to me. Not holding hands there. I just want to get a general look see, see what's going on with Divine Masculine. Ooh, patience. I know you all love hearing that. <laughs> that was so frustrating. Okay, we've got patience here. Uh, let's get one more. Ooh, okay, two, two came out there. Oh, this old Suffering in Silence card again. Uh, I think it was the last collective reading I did that came out. I can't remember. We're going to have a look back, guys. It's in the thumbnail. Partnerships and alliances, yeah. Um, that's what I was saying about the first card. Feels like a partnership. Okay, so... Hmm. It's like... It's like they want to work with you i mean this may even be like actual career wise as well some of them may be thinking oh of working with you um you know you may do similar jobs there's something about that i feel like it's like shaking hands on on like a deal as well it's like they want to work um to build your your partnership partnership in terms of a relationship but also yeah i just feel there's something around um career there as well now what i was going to specifically look into what's kind of blocking you guys coming together and i'll still do that but i can already see from this there is still this element of patience with this um divine masculine suffering in silence about something we'll expand on that in a minute um but not quite the right time but it's like the sense of you know things are growing here going in the right direction i want to see what this suffering and silence is about so what am i gonna let's use these cards okay too many What is this suffering in silence about? Five of air. Hmm. So, hmm. Conflict. Okay, maybe, hmm, some of your my masculines here are still tied into some kind of other partnership here. It's um, something I feel, it could be to do with like div divorce, you know, there's still like stages of finalizing a divorce or something like that. Um, you, you, you know, that type of thing would kind of delay progress forward. Yeah, I feel like it's, wanting to come into partnership with you but some of them are still in that kind of partnership with someone else so yeah there um has been an issue there um yeah it does feel like a lot of them could be finalizing stages of divorce there's certainly if they're not married you know if they are with someone else um there's a lot of like arguments conflict toxicity um, around them and so they are suffering in those relationships it's also about kind of walking away from those two um you know walking away from basically what brings them unhappiness hmm okay let's get into some rider weight here hmm that you're going to get this prosperity with them but you know there is just this delay here and yeah for some of you it's a third party situation but you know i just feel that suffering and silence they're, they're wanting to walk away from that you know 
Because who wants to be somewhere where they're just suffering all the time? So I'm just going to take this first card. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> total confirmation of that, yeah. Eight of Cups. That's exactly what this is about. Walking away from things that don't serve them. Walking away from things that make them unhappy. Um, and, you know, walking to their happiness, to their prosperity, you know. I'm just getting such a strong kind of Two of Cups feel from this. Wanting to kind of nurture your relationship, work on things, you know. So this masculine here um, has either already started or is about to start this journey um, to their happiness. You know, Eight of Cups for me is about returning home home to their family. So yeah, okay, okie dokie. Like I said, Divine Masculines are done suffering in silence here. Um, for some reason they felt tied to that situation, but like not anymore. There's movement out of this for sure. Let's see what else is going on with little Divine Masculine. Oh, I like it. Divine Masculines here are getting their power back. The Emperor, you may be dealing with the Aries, and Six of Wands, so triumph, victory, winning at all costs. Okay, this is good, this is good. This is Divine Masculines. Um, standing up for themselves. Um, It feels like they are becoming a lot stronger than they have been. You know, the Emperor sits on that throne. Um, he, he's confident, but he's still wearing that armour. He's been through some battles. So there's definitely been, you know, the Five of Swords is just one of my least favourite cards. It's a lot of, like, just negativity there. Um, ugh, you know, just really bad conflicts, arguments, things like that. So uh, they have been quite wounded, I feel, this group, but gaining that inner strength. The Emperor is the embodiment of all the kings. So this is where we want the Divine Masculines to be when they approach. This is movement forward with you. So like I said, it's Divine Masculine taking these steps and it's movement forward. Um you know, wanting victory with you. And you want them in that emperor energy when they do come forward like this. Six of Wands for me can be about engagements as well. Um, yeah, you know, you don't want to be masculines making movement forward with you. If, you know, if they're in anything less than the emperor really energy. So I like it. Triumph, victory on the way. We've got the star here, so you may be dealing with an Aquarius. High Priestess, Taurus energy. Um, huh. Yeah, they've definitely been through some kind of healing, this group. Um, dumping out things that don't serve them, dumping out negativity. Uh, it feels like a kind of cleanse going on. Um, some of them could even be doing like a physical cleanse and detoxing from something or just kind of eating cleaner you know eating right eight of cups can be about ill health as well so it just it's almost like getting their mind right but also getting their you know physical self right too um just kind of taking care of themselves more uh it could even be like working out i'm just getting Something about that, um, because they want to, it's like they want to be in peak kind of physical and mental um, condition. So, hmm, using that inner intuition um, that I feel they've kind of suppressed for a long time because their intuition has probably been trying to tell them for a long time to get out of these situations, you know, whatever, whatever it is through Divine Masculine that they've been suffering in silence, you know, clearly they weren't listening to their intuition and now it's about them, you know, um, it's hope this, it's um, 
wishing on a star, going to what they have been wishing for. Okay. Could have been a lot of silence between the two of you here and you know you've had to have a lot of patience with that divine feminines there's also that mirroring energy of you suf suffering in silence so it doesn't feel like a lot of words have been spoken between this group you know that silence has like really been killing both of you you know, I say this quite a lot in readings, but it is true from what I've learned from people's divine masculines and even my own and things like the silence really does get to them too, you know. What else have we got going on here at the divine masculine? You know what, I'm going to look, um, I'm going to look into their hearts space and then I'm going to come back and see what likely what likely future kind of action is more specifically but I mean there's definitely like a movement towards you but let's see what's going on in the heart space first falling out these cards yeah, so, okay, there has been this heart fog, mixed sig signals, blocked emotions, clutter, kind of blocking off their higher self. Um, and it feels like that was some kind of self-preservation, um, like a coping mechanism, um, you know, for situations that they were in that were really unhappy um it's this kind of blocking off their emotions you know the, the emperor can be um quite stubborn you know quite doesn't always express things but like i mentioned with the star it's clearing blocks blocked emotions here confessions unexpected message unveiling justification um so you know, expect the unexpected with this person because I just feel with this patience card. Okay, I mean, there's this kind of the ring timing around this, uh, but there has been. It feels like a long time this silence. You know, I don't. It doesn't feel like you know a week or two or something like that. This feels to me more like. Certainly months, but I'm, I'm drawn to this one on this card here. It could even be like a year or more for some of you watching. And this is really going to like come out of the blue, this unexpected message. Um, because, you know, they've held a lot back from you. The High Priestess is about secrets as well. And this is kind of secrets revealed with this uh, Confessions card. Hmm. You know, and I feel like this is also what the Six of Wands is about, you know, wanting to have victory with you, win you back, and they know to do that, they're going to have to start opening up, <laughs> you know, they can't keep holding back all the time, because how are you supposed to move forward then? Um, we've also got intimacy, closeness, sexuality, seclusion, so... You know, even in the silence between you, um, they, I, I just feel they crave you and they crave this intimacy with you. Um, you know, there's obviously a lot of sexual attraction, you know, because emperors is, um, you know, there's a lot of fire and passion around the emperor and it's like craving um, his empress, I'm getting. You know, they desire that sexual closeness with you um you know also just um becoming closer with words too you know deep conversations bring people closer too and there's not been a lot talking here at all you know if any um so uh, the desire to kind of open up that way as well um and be intimate with you you know i feel like 
Yeah, I feel this the Emperor <laughs> really has um, had a lot of sexual thoughts about you. Maybe sexual dreams as well. Um, yeah, I'm just getting there's a lot at night, them thinking about you. Um, so yeah, I mean, you may have even been picking up on that and having dreams like that yourself. Or it just, yeah, it just feels like fantasy, fantasizing around this. Um, yeah, let's have a look. You know what's really funny as well? We got this confessions card. And out of all the the oracle cards, decks that I've got, I picked the confessions cards here. Um, so interesting. So I'll use these after. There's definitely something that wants to come out from this, you know, and it may be to do with this unexpected message. Okay, likely future action here. We've got this Divine Masculine, you know, wanting victory here. Divine Feminines walking away from things that don't serve them. Let's just expand on this a little bit more. Make it clear, please. Oh, yeah, you know, I <laughs> said there was this element of divine timing around this. When's the right time? Temperance, patience again here. Uh, Sagittarius, you may be dealing with a Sagittarius. You know, I was getting strong Two of Cups vibes from this card. And for me, Two of Cups is, you know, it was always within the Temperance card. It's my I love you message. Um, it's the constant feel of you, the constant connection around them, the desire to kind of be close to you um, again. And it's also about this, this healing that's been going on for this person. It'll be different for everyone watching, obviously, but if this is resonating, there's just something your Divine Masculine has been through that's really, um, really kind of brought them to their knees. That's what I just heard. I couldn't think what it was they wanted to say there. There was just a divine timing around um, this the offer of love, okay? So, like I said with the confessions and the intimacy card, and it's, it's knowing that they have to take the mask off, you know, reveal their inner selves reveal their innermost feelings for you to have success you know to have victory with this um divine masculines wanting to become more intimate with you in every way so new beginnings in love here likely future action from this person um there is this element of divine timing around that though you know still doing you know they're getting there doing this healing but you may have to have a little bit more patience with this person. Um, but certainly new beginnings in love here with them and offering you that full cup of love. For me, this is also like, you know, heart to heart conversations and it's emotional, you know, I'm always drawn to, it looks like tears here. So there could be like crying um, between the two of you, you know, finally cracking this emperor's tough exterior and actual tears coming from this person which i just feel would be would be really unexpected it might not even be that it's unexpected to hear from them in your situation but it's so unexpected that they w might cry you know you might never think um they would so why don't we get some confessions here that's what i picked what do you want to say to my masculines in this group? Whoa, what do you want to say to your feminines? Oh my god, I don't know if I've ever seen this card before. This is so strange. It's kind of printed a bit weird, so give me a second. Um, 
This is so funny. I've never seen this card, ever. I didn't know this existed. Yeah, I've been in relationships before, but this connection really made me feel so vulnerable that it scared me. Mm -hmm. That old tale from Divine Masculines, but it's true, guys. Um, your connection is like nothing they've ever felt before. And that's what causes a lot of the running. And it isn't running from you. It's running from themselves. It's running from feeling vulnerable like that. It's running from, like, everything's like, ah, like, overwhelming, you know? Weird. I've never seen that before. So that's a really important message, I feel. In fact, I've never seen it. I chose confessions. Confessions are coming out here. So that's the type of thing that they're probably going to be opening up to you about. Letting you in on that for once. Now, as I said earlier, guys, if this is your story, if you're still watching <laughs> after like 24 minutes, I take it. And so don't forget to like and leave me a wee comment, guys. Let me know about that technology thing. And uh, share, subscribe. Make sure you've got all your notifications on. The notification bell and set to all. And then you won't miss any videos. Yeah. You read through me so good I'm not used to it. Again, that's what makes them vulnerable. In your presence. Because you can read them like a book. You know, you... It's kind of like... You know, High Priestess is holding this book here. It's kind of like they try and hold things within and they... Try and keep everything sealed shut like that, keep this book closed, but you can still see through it and it freaks them out. <laughs> Neglect wounds. Mm. So some of your divine masculines are dealing with that. Um, probably from childhood, abandonment issues and things, um, that will make them really kind of closed off from people. And it is hard for this person to open up because they're used to not having people around for them that should be and people just leaving and things like that. So they, they kind of, they are this closed book a lot of the time. And that is, like I mentioned earlier, this sort of self-protection. It's, it's their instinct, this person. But, you know, make no doubts about it. The offers coming forward for this group, you know, actually opening that heart up. I'm not even sure what to call this video because there's so many messages coming out. For this is, yeah, let's get one more confession, divine masculine. Got anything else you want to say? <laughs> you made me realize my fault, so I ran. Again, it's just kind of, it's not like you per se, it's, it's their perception of like, oh, being judged and things like that but it's it's the fact that you see their true self you know you see what they try to hide all the time so yeah it, it sparks that running behavior um bottom of the deck depression so that could be a lot to do if if you're well i was gonna say if your divine masculine's not in another partnership it it could be that's what they're suffering in silence about is depression, mental health issues. You know, I mentioned Eight of Cups can be about ill health, um, you know, and that's what's brought this, um, these like mixed signals into the connection. But, you know, for some of them, it just, this relationship, if they're in a third party relationship, is so toxic, you know, five swords type thing, um, that it's brought on like a depression. So that could have, caused a delay of movement forward um in your connection too that's obviously going to affect things in uh, in a big way um but you know we've got such a strong energy of like triumph divine masculines and their power triumphing over everything and 
you know, I mentioned earlier about them wanting to get into like peak mental and physical condition before they make the moves here because they want to get this right. So the star, you know, dumping out everything that doesn't serve them. Um, so we're going to end with some romance angel guidance. <clears throat> Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Um, you know, I feel they want that opportunity with you. Um, just the two of you. No third parties involved here. Just the two of you. It's, it's almost like... If you can, you know the way the world is, but it's almost like coming together, holding hands, like talking, having these intimate conversations. You know, they want that opportunity to, um, like just you and them, just you and them talking, just going away somewhere. Could even be like a socially distanced walk or something like that, you know? But talking, opening up. Children, your love life has been affected by children. So some of them, <sighs> that could be an issue, um, you know, if they, Are in a marriage, you know, they, they've been wanting to leave, but wasn't happy, it, you know, don't want to like abandon the children, don't want to, you know, because they've got these neglect wounds. It could be something like that. Um, you know, thinking of, of the children, which is, you know, quite right, but staying in situations where they weren't happy. Um, what else have we got? Oh, I think that's... Romantic feelings, woo! So yeah, you know, I mentioned that intimacy, the sexualness, the passion here. Um, yeah. Fantasizing over you. I've been getting that word a lot throughout this reading, it's fantasizing. So, <laughs> divine masculines, um, I just, honestly, I feel like literally could be pleasuring themselves at night over you, things like that, you know, yeah get what I'm saying guys so um, I'm just gonna leave it there but thanks so much for watching